Hello, and welcome to 3 Minute Gaming, I'm Nathan, and today I'm going to tell you if this game's worth your time and bandwidth. Today's game is Trombone Champ, and it's time to toot in this Dark Souls of Rhythm Games. Is Trombone Champ worth blasting at full volume to make your neighbors hate you? Trombone Champ is currently available on PC, where it will put you back $15. It's not early access, but there are plans to add a lot more content to the game, but currently I found you can unlock pretty much everything in about 3-ish hours. So what exactly is Trombone Champ? Well, it's a comedy rhythm game with one goal, become the ultimate trombone player by butchering dozens of classic tunes. The core mechanic is simple. Using your mouse with inverted up-down controls, you attempt to align the trombone dot with the incoming notes, clicking and releasing to quote-unquote play the song. There is some nuance to this, as you can actually keep holding between notes and the game will count it as an okay, as well as playing for too long will cause you to run out of breath and you'll have to take a pause. However, the real point is that it is intentionally very difficult, as every little tiny mouse movement seems to adjust the pitch of the bone, meaning you'll quickly turn O Canada into a syrup drunk din. That is the gag, however, as this game is intentionally hard and failing is often funnier than succeeding. But that isn't to say the gameplay isn't surprisingly engaging otherwise. After playing songs, you earn toots, which you can cash out in one of two ways. The first is to buy packs of cars, which range from famous composers to baboons and hot dogs. These are traded to a secret entity, which I will not spoil here. And the other way is unlocking the world serpent. I mean, baboon, to fill the lord vessel. I mean, trombone vessel, with toots. Both cashing in cards and filling the vessel will give you cosmetic upgrades. And that is based basically it. There's a lot more jokes, secrets, and general weirdness to discover, but I don't want to spoil it, because the basic gist is you will be playing through a bunch of songs horribly while still somehow earning high ranks and wondering why anyone would ever learn this instrument. So what do I like about Trombone Champ? Well, frankly, it is funny. At least to me, I find this game absolutely hilarious. The difficulty paired with how the trombone marvelously butchers famous songs and you screw up somehow works perfectly and is hilarious. Additionally, it doesn't just have the one gag, as the constant Dark Souls references and jokes around that paired with tromboning actually kept me excited to find new weird stuff hidden in inside this game. And lastly, the playing is surprisingly engaging, partially because of its difficulty, and you can actually get good at this game and its songs to feel accomplished. There is some skill involved here. When it comes to the bad, the main gameplay loop is basically playing songs badly, and if you don't find it funny, you will not enjoy this game, full stop. Additionally, the game does need a lot more songs, which I understand are coming soon, as while the core list of classic tunes to butcher is fun, there needs to be a lot more here. And lastly, the gameplay doesn't evolve or change over time, there's no difficulty levels or anything like that. What you see is what you get, which means it might get boring to some pretty quickly. As you know, I rate games here on a three-point scale, must play, maybe consider, don't bother, and I have no clue what to categorize this as. I will say it is definitely a hidden gem. I guess we'll pop that little thing up early. Um, what I can say is that I immediately bought this for all my nieces and nephews so they could torment my in-laws with horrible trombone music for hours, and just the thought of how incredibly obnoxious that must be is enough to warm my cold, dead heart. So while it's technically a joke game, I do think the mechanics here are fun enough that if you enjoy rhythm games, you'll come back to it, and the joke stayed funny for me for the full three hours, so I I guess it's a maybe consider? If music being butchered by a trombone isn't funny to you, then you can probably just pass on it. But if this awful serenade has gotten a chuckle out of you, maybe go give it a look. And that's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching. If you played Trombone Champ, do your neighbors hate you? Does your spouse hate you? Does everyone hate you? For, you know, your trombone skills, not for, you know, anything else. Let's not get into that. Either way, let me know in the comments and go check this one out.